Hi, I'm Bob. Let's start our solutions to the computer exercises for Chapter 9, more on specification and data issues, in the textbook Introductory Eclometrics, a Modern Approach to Seven's Edition by Professor Jeffrey Woodridge. We perform the regression specification error test, reset, in the first computer exercise. After regressing the log salary on log sales, return on equity, and the dummy variable of whether the return to stock is negative, we obtain the fit values. Then we generate the squared fit values and the qubit fit values. The reset is to estimate the expanded equation and do the F test for the joint significance of delta 1 and delta 2. The null hypothesis is that both delta 1 and delta 2 are zero. The F statistic is 1.33 and its p-value is 0 0.27. We fail to reject the null hypothesis that both delta 1 and delta 2 are zero at any conventional level. There is no evidence of functional form misspecification in the original model. For part 2, the heteroscedasticity robust reset gives an F statistic of 2.17 and a p-value of 0 0.12. We fail to reject the null hypothesis at the 10% level. There is still little evidence of functional form misspecification in the original equation, although the p-value reduces substantially. Let's do computer exercise 2. We use the knowledge of the world of work test score as a proxy variable for ability in place of IQ in example 9.3. The estimated return to education is 0 0.058, implying that one more year of education increases wages by 5.8% on average, holding the other variables in the model fixed. It is statistically significant at the 1% level. In part 2, we use KWW and IQ scores as proxy variables for ability. The estimated return to education drops to 0 0.050. It is still statistically significant at the 1% level. For part 3, IQ and KWW are both individually and jointly significant. KWW is individually significant at the 5% level. IQ is individually significant at the 1% level. They are jointly significant at the 1% level.
Let's solve the third computer exercise. The simple regression model suffers from omitted variable bias because unobserved factors in the error term might be correlated with the dummy variable indicating whether the firm received a job training grant. Such unobserved factors include the firm's size, the scrap rate in the past few years, and the education level of the workers. These factors may affect the firm's probability of receiving a job trailing grant, and they also relate to the current scrap rate. The OLS estimates will be biased if they are omitted from the model. The simple regression gives a positive slow estimate, which is not statistically significant at any conventional level. We add the last year's scrap rate as an explanatory variable to the model in Park 3. The estimated coefficient on the variable grant becomes negative. It suggests that receiving a job trailing grant lowers the firm's scrap rate by about 25.4%, holding last year's scrap rate fixed. The T statistic is minus 1.73 and its p-value is 0 0.045, a game's a one-sided alternative. It is statistically smaller than zero. At the 1% level, a game's a one-sided alternative. For part 4, the t-statistic is minus 3.80, and its p-value is 0 to 3 decimal places. It is statistically significant at the 1% level, a game's a two-sided alternative. We reject the null hypothesis at the 1% significance level against a two-sided alternative. We use the Lincoln command in Stata to do the t-test. We write the linear combination after the command. In part 5, using the heteroscedasticity robust standard errors, the t-statistic and the p-value for the variable grant do not change notably. The robust standard error for the last year's scrap rate rises substantially, resulting in a much smaller t-statistic and a larger p-value. But the effect is still statistically different from one at the 5% level. Let's find the answer to computer exercise 4. We add the dummy variable indicating DC to the model for part 1. The estimated equation is as follows. The coefficient on DC implies that DC has 16 more deaths per 1,000 birth than the other states on average, holding the other variables in the model fixed. The difference in infant mortality between DC and the other states is statistically significant at the 1% level. The estimates and the standard errors for the three explanatory variables 
and the intercept are identical. Adding a dummy for one observation plays the same role as dropping that observation in estimation. Let's go to computer exercise 5. We first change the sales and square sales in billions of dollars. The estimated ORS equations are as follows. The first one is with the outlier observation and the second is without the outlier. There is no notable change in the estimates. For part 2, we perform the least absolute deviations regression. In Stata, we use the quantile regression command QREG to do that. It minimizes the sum of the absolute values of the residuals. The estimated equations by least absolute deviations are as follows. The estimates for the variable cells and the square term are very different. The least absolute deviations LAD method is usually less sensitive to extreme observations than the ordinary least squares OLS method. But in this case, it seems that the opposite is true. OLS is more resilient to outliers in this example. Thank you very much for doing the exercises with me. See you soon. Thank you for watching this video and subscribing to my YouTube channel. See you next time.